I've got a couple of girlfriends coming over tonight to watch some movies. And so I'm looking for something really fast and tasty that I can whip up in a flash. With a few goodies in the pantry and my fresh vegetables, I'm set. These lamb medallions cook in a flash and I just love the fact that there's no waste. They're so lean you don't need to trim anything off. So I've got 400 grams of Silver Fern Farms lamb medallions. So it's one of those really sort of instant, almost store cupboard dinners. For my spice rub, I've got a little bit of paprika. I like the smoked sweet paprika. And cumin, probably about half a teaspoon of each. Some salt and pepper. And actually you don't want to overpower the meat, so you don't need a lot of spice in there. Just mix that up and then sprinkle it over the meat. Put your pan on. I'm using an olive oil here because I want that slightly Mediterranean flavour. So those are going to take about two to three minutes of a medium-high heat on each side. I like my lamb medium rare and that's had two minutes on each side and it is good to go. So take it out of the pan and pop it on a clean board. Now you want to cover your lamb and just leave it to rest. Okay, so my bean puree is as simple as a good glug of olive oil, a couple of cloves of sliced garlic, the zest of a lemon, salt and pepper, a little bit of oregano, a wee pinch of chilli flakes. And then out of the cupboard some canned beans. Now that's sizzling away nicely. Mmm, you can smell all those aromatics through the beans. And really all you need to do is just make sure that those are heated through to infuse, as I said, those flavours. I always like a bit of parsley. And you don't have to put this in, but it just gives a lovely green fleck through the puree. I haven't put the lemon juice in. Now, as much or as little as you like here. Mmm, it's delicious. I could just eat a bowl of that. You might use jam or jelly, but I've got apple syrup here. And you can actually even use apple juice concentrate. You just want something sweet that's going to caramelise in the bottom of the pan. And I'm just going to stir that over the heat. And you'll see it start to sizzle. Some stock, vegetable stock chicken stock and you want the heat up really high so it boils down and it reduces about two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. So I've got some frozen peas here and also some frozen edamame. They're frozen soya beans and you can buy them at the supermarket and they're such a delicious and nutritious thing to have on hand. And just pop those rocket leaves on top. They'll only take a few seconds. So that meat will be beautifully rested. Let's carve it and see. So you want to cut it across the grain and that way it'll always be tender. Oh, doesn't that look so good? Juicy. One for the cook. Mm. Plating up time. A spoonful of that lovely bean puree or mash. A little bit of rocket. Some of that lovely lamb. And then my jus. Mmm, those peas and beans. Now that's what I call a TV dinner with style. In and out of the kitchen in less than 15 minutes. Oh, nearly slopped my dropper. Pretty good, good.